purpose of this video is to explain how to install Condor software on a Mac. Overall, there were three steps. Um, the first step was to check to make sure you have the latest Java update installed by running the Apple software update. If you have not done that, you can just click on the link on the YouTube link below and follow those instructions. The second one that you should have already completed is installing the MySQL database server. Again, um, this should be completed by now, but if not, you can go back and review it at this YouTube link. The third step, installing the Condor software, is the purpose of this video. In addition, it is recommended that you install the Navicat Lite software to act as a graphical user interface on the MySQL server. So what is the first step? The first step is to download Condor. Go to this link and download the Condor zip file. After the file is downloaded, you will see the Condor folder in your Mac downloads. The next step, step number two, is to copy the folder to a new location. So basically using Finder, create a new folder, such as Condor, and copy the Condor-264 folder into it. You should see a file listing similar to this in your Condor folder. The next is to actually to start Condor. And our step three, remember to start MySQL if you have not already done so. Step four is um, in the Condor folder. Just double click the Condor 264 jar and it should start. The next step, step five, is to copy and paste in the monthly key. So Condor will start and open with the start page for you to paste in your monthly key. And a sample key is provided. Now, this key will not work. I just included this as an example of what a typical key would look like. So you change that key every month. So enter your MySQL password if you created one, otherwise leave it blank, and then click OK. It's as simple as that. Voila! Condor is ready to use. This is the Condor initial window from which you to do your analysis. So this completes the Condor three-step installation process. Congratulations! And remember, just replace the key on the first day of each month.